Have you been struggling with Kali Linux headers for the past couple of hours and you couldn't find actually a good resource that will tell you what to do in this case? Well, then you've come to the right place. Today I'm going to install Kali Linux as a VM in my machine and I'm going to set up my alpha adapter so we can get ready for some ethical hacking. Let's get started. So the first step to installing Kali Linux is to grab one of their ready virtual machines that we can install by clicking over here. Make sure to grab the version that's correct for the virtual hypervisor that you would like to use. For me, I use VirtualBox, so I'm going to go ahead and download this version. Now, the beautiful thing about downloading a virtual machine directly instead of downloading the ISO and doing all the handiwork yourself is that with a double click, you already have something to work with. I'm going to go ahead and open this with VirtualBox. That will already spare us some of the work that we will need to do in the case that we would go for the ISO image. I like to give it always a bit more CPU, so I have 12, so why not give it 6, and also a bit more... RAM, very handy, then click on import. Well, this will take a moment, so we'll be back when this is done. All right, let's go ahead and start it. So the first thing you'll need to do is to log in. The default username and password are just Kali. Yeah. Once you're in, you can actually give yourself a bit more viewing room so you can resize this to whatever fits your screen. In my case, you should do it. All right, awesome stuff. Next. Let's work on installing our alpha adapter. For me, I'm going to be working there with this alpha model to get my ethical hacking gear ready. So if your adapter is already connected, make sure to disconnect it before we go through these steps. Grab a terminal. The first step always when you go on a new virtual machine is to make sure that your sources are updated. So apt update. Remember the password just Kali. Now, next, we're going to also upgrade our packages. So sudo apt upgrade. Awesome. Everything is upgraded because we just downloaded the most recent version. Now, the next step is to upgrade the distribution of this Kali Linux. So uh, let's see, we're standing now, new name minus R, Kali 7, 5.16. It's probably the most recent one, but either way, for sudo apt distribution upgrade. Perfect, sorry, the latest one. Let's start installing the driver that we will need for our alpha. First of all, let's check the model by connecting it through a USB. To make sure that your adapter is actually connected to the virtual machine, you will have to click here over on devices, USB, and then add that router by clicking on it. Now your virtual machine have access to this Wi-Fi adapter. Next, type LS USB. This will list all the USB devices that are connected to this operating system. All right, awesome. We can see our alpha adapter over here. Now we can install a driver that's suitable for this adapter. You can see that the model is 8812AU. So we go sudo apt install real tech. This is the suitable model because it has XX over here because this could be 12, 14, or any other model. So let's go and select it and hit that enter button. All right, yes. And we already ran into some trouble in 2022. So the main issue that we're facing over here is that we couldn't find a source to give us this header. And fix our sources by typing sudo nano. Nano is a small editor that will allow us to access files on our hard drive. And then go for etc slash apt slash sources. Now over here in the sources, I want to add this mirror from Berkeley. This is very accessible and has most of the missing files that we won't be able sometimes to find on the Kali repository directly. You will need to add dip at the beginning and then copy the Kali rolling main contribution, contrib and non-free. Control O, enter and Control X to exit. Now let's try it again. Well, we're still having the same issue, and that's because once you add the new source to your sources list, you will need to run sudo apt update again to update the sources that are available. You can see that we've retrieved a whole new list that wasn't available to us before. Once you've run the update command, you can go ahead and try to install the driver again. And voila, it works. So now if we plug in our adapter again and make sure it's enabled using the USB, it's still not showing up. And that's because we still need to download the Aircrack NJ driver for this adapter. Grab the Aircrack NJ adapter from their GitHub. We can do that by clicking over here on code, taking this HTTPS and typing git 
clone and voila perfect next we will have to go into the folder and go for sudo make and now we have the missing linux headers built you can see it over here that it cannot find a such file or directory so the next logical step would be to try to install those linux headers directly from apt so sudo apt install linux headers and then let's see well the main issue here is that we don't have access to any kali 7 headers the only ones we can see over here are 3 and 5 so we will have to go ahead and install the headers ourselves manually so to install the kernel headers you will have to go to this link here you're going to find a bunch of headers they are for multiple modules but they are also for multiple versions so we need to pick exactly the one that we were asked to install and for this we will have to go back to make and see which error it was giving us so it was missing the 5.16 cal 7 amd 64. so let's look for that one notice that this is the apci module this is not what we're looking for we're looking for the linux headers Oh yeah, there you go. Linux headers 5.16 K7 AMD. Yeah, this is probably the one. You can save this file. Once it completes downloading, open a terminal over here. And type sudo dpackage minus i and then give it the headers. And of course, just like everything with computers, it doesn't go well from the first time. So we've got a couple of dependencies that we still need to meet. So we have to install linux header kali common let's look for this one all right this is the rt version this is not what we're looking for this should probably be it all right same as before d package minus i this time we went for the linux headers the common one all right perfect this worked let's start the installation again i think we're still missing one more header Yeah, so we still have a dependency over here on Linux build 5.16. Well, let's find it. So Linux K build, not the DPG system. Let's find out if they have other ones. Yes, so we have other ones over here. But look, this is 5.16 underscore 5. And let's go for 14. We're looking for the 18 one, right? Yeah, so we're looking for the 18. And that's basically this one. Don't forget to unplug your adapter. Now, again, if we go for sudo dpackage minus i, what did we install this time? The K builds. Awesome. And now we try again the original. Oh my god, it's working. All right, so once the installation of all the headers complete, you'll need to go back to the aircrack driver folder and run sudo make again and you can see that we're actually managing to install something it's not just crashing the moment that we started i was actually really surprised to see that kali linux is missing headers through the app like how is it possible all right now the installation is complete we can go ahead and plug in our adapter again make sure that it's activated over here in the devices so usb real tech well once you finish executing the make command you still need to run make install and this will actually allow you to use the Wi-Fi adapter before we couldn't actually access these available networks unless we execute this sudo make install. And those are all the steps that you will need in 2022 to install Linux headers and your alpha adapter and make it run. Well, happy ethical hacking and until next time.